Okay, so in the part of the strategy we talked about earlier, uh, why you should be hitting it, and um, we told you to write the notes and everything. So I'm just going to be out here just hitting some balls. Eventually, I'm going to be able to hit the target on the other side. So I'm not sure if I'm going to incorporate this into my lecture because then I'm going to go home and see what else uh, you really need as far as you know, where you should be, how your racket should be, what you should be asking your tennis instructor. So right now I'm just putting this in, in into my series just to, uh, you know, hit some balls. And when I go home, if we actually hit the target, then maybe you could see it in the video because it's so sunny out right now and I can't really see. So um, we'll see what happens. Eventually, maybe I'll hit the target on the other side when I go home and say, okay, I see, I see, you see me hit the target, and then we'll incorporate this in. If not, it's just going to be one of my videos for the day anyway. So this is your ready position over here. It's going to be your ready position. And you're going to turn. And then you're going to follow through. Point of contact follow through. Some players like to, to point like this. And basically the reason why I'm doing the video lectures on this drill is because a lot of people that start out taking tennis lessons, I'm sweating, um, they hit the ball up over the fence and they're not knowing why they're hitting the ball up over the fence and then, you know, they just, they just you know, get discouraged and don't want to use their ten rack tennis rackets anymore. Uh, maybe they can't afford tennis lessons, so they stop or they think that they can't do it. I mean, I had a tennis client once that told me that I gave her a lot of confidence uh, on uh, people playing tennis on the next court from them. That's another thing. You know, there's gonna be people, if you start, once you start playing, eventually you're gonna get really good. There's gonna be people on the next court from you. You're gonna be nervous and all those kind of things. So by doing the tennis lessons, you're actually building up confidence. You're practicing, because if you're ever gonna get better at anything, you gotta keep practicing and practicing and practicing. And then finally, it's going to pay off one day, you know. Like I said, I don't get paid when I'm playing somebody for fun. I'm just playing them for fun. and really don't care if I win or lose. But if I'm teaching you something, I want you to get your money's worth out of it, and I want you to learn something. I mean, people that I gave tennis lessons came back and told me, I said, have you, have you ever had a tennis lesson before? And then they turn around and say no, and I'm like, wow, I just taught them that. So I'm hoping that you will learn something from this, and when you go to your tennis instructor, you'll have all the questions and you'll be prepared, okay? So I might, I might put this in my video series because I need a half hour's worth of content. So we'll see what happens. Okay, but um, your tennis instructor will help you.